Built 45 years ago and only refurbished once, the hospital serves over 20,600 people from Anikab, Beersheikh, Francefontaine and Terrace Bay, many of whom travel over 200 kilometers to access health services. With a capacity of 121 beds, the hospital lacks sufficient and adequate beds and mattresses for patients, as well as delivery beds that need proper sheets. There are issues with water supply, proper flooring, and resuscitation tables for newborns, while ambulances are also non-functional or unavailable. The facility, which requires renovations for restrooms, more staff, basic health equipment and emergency services, has put added pressure on the hospital staff. According to the nurse uh, patient ratio, we don't have enough nurses. We don't have nurses, the staffing, uh, when it comes to nurses, when it comes to doctors. Currently, we only have three doctors. Uh, one came recently. We were coping with two doctors. So the workload is too much and the pressure is too much with limited resources. UNICEF country representative and the Japanese ambassador to Namibia have both expressed concern over the situation, describing it as distressing and uncomfortable for patients. They are sure to bring this issue to the attention of the health ministry and to offer support in any way possible. When we support uh, government programs, we agree on where to support. It. So we and the government, UNICEF and government, come up with a plan that identifies the needs. And then we also have, we plan with the, with the um, health facilities. And then we, when the services are delivered, we also monitor. So we go to see, for example, like we are here. Here, this is an exploratory mission to find out what is the health, I mean, the health facilities here and what can be done because we're also going into a new country program next year, uh, for the next five years. So this also gives us an opportunity since we've seen. So when we are discussing with government and we don't see curry house, then we can tell, we can remind government that what about curry house, for example. So I cannot uh, pledge uh, anything today, but uh, uh, this tour is so much important because um, we have uh, several steps forward to provide um, uh, necessary aid, necessary support to, to, the, to the media. The first step is to recognize, to recognize the situation. Uh, second step is to uh, discuss with our partners. And third step is to uh, inform and ask the headquarters to provide the necessary uh, Support. Hospital staff voiced their frustration regarding the procurement process, which hinders the facility's ability to obtain the necessary resources.